The market is so competitive. Should I really buy now or should I just wait? It's a great question and it has a potentially $82,000 answer. So let's get into it. Thanks for taking a few minutes to join us for our real-time market insights into our local housing market. My name is Scott Parker. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing with John Green Realtor, and I'll be presenting our findings for this week. We publish this report exclusively for our clients so that they can have a leg up. You cannot find this publicly. However, if you'd like access, just click the link or hit the button, and we will put it each week right into your inbox. So our main talking points for this week's market report, leveling on all fronts, We'll answer that question of should I wait to buy? And then what percent of homes are actually selling fast in today's market? And what does that mean for us? So let's get into it. This graph is from Pulsonomics Home Price Expectation Survey for the next five years. So we took an average sales price of $350,000 for our market, applied it to all the average of all the leading forecasts, and the average homeowner on a $350,000 home will be set to see an $82,000 increased net worth as a result of the appreciation forecast over the next five years. Of course, these things are forecast for a reason, but it does point to why a buyer may want to buy now, especially when you couple uh, this with the low interest rate environment that we're in. So here's new listings for the core four counties we track. DuPage, Kendall, Will, and Kane. You can see another decent week of activity, but new listings fell off and we were hoping to see this number continue to rise so that we could catch up with demand. Uh, you can see this year's line and the 2019 line kind of going in opposite direction. So we'll keep a whole, uh, an eye on that as we move forward. Here's under contract activity. You can look inside the circle there and you can see activity fell off from last week, but that was the high watermark for the year. So this was the second most active week of the year. So, so very strong. So notice how in 2019, the line begins to fade off a bit. And that's typical of a typical year. Those early weeks of April tend to be most active. And then last year, really interesting to see how quickly things started to snap back once we started to settle in, learn more and adapt to the circumstances that 2020 brought. Here's off market activity, which represents those active listings that decided to come off the market without a successful sale. And the story here is just the remarkable consistency which homes are just simply not coming off the market. Uh, the ones that are on the market are, are most likely finding a buyer. This under contract versus new listings chart and the next one are the ones that give you a feel for the balance of a market. So in a normal market, we tend to see this number hover around 60%, which just means for every 10 new homes that come onto the market in a given week, uh, we'll typically see about six go under contract. Absorption rate was very steady week over week and compare that to 2019 where we started to see a dip. And then last year, this week is when we really started to experience a trend of absorption rates going sky high. And that has obviously carried on for a year now and more and running as more buyers get got back into the market at this time last year, outpacing sellers who were still a little less confident in putting their homes on the market. That trend uh, has kind of a residual effect, but a recent stat is that less than 20% of polled sellers are saying that they have delayed selling because of the events of 2020. So that kind of just means we're starting to see a true look at the supply side without any of the restrictions uh, at this point. Here we add in off market so you can see the total number of listings on the market relative to the total number leaving the market. And you can see here, again, pretty consistent week over week, below 2020 levels still, but way ahead of normalized levels. Here's showing activity, and this graph is the one that gives us a, the best forward-looking indicator of where the market's going, is showing activity today turns into contracts over the next couple months. And you can see traffic has been pretty steady these past few weeks, definitely outpacing 2019. And again, that's with limited inventory to show, and so we're only getting a feel for actual showings in this graph. So it's most it most likely doesn't paint the entire picture of just how strong demand continues to be. I always like to add in a national slide or two for context, and this is a really cool look at one that may be a bit of a canary for us in terms of when demand may start to level out. So we are looking at uh, national inventory levels here. The dark red uh, is, is inventory on the market, and then that light red is the immediate sales. So the stuff that's selling right away when it hits the market within hours, within uh, a day or two. So shout out to our colleagues at Altos Research for tracking this. This this tells us that inventory keeps slightly climbing, but the amount of inventory selling immediately is about a third of market activity, which is pretty remarkable. Um, we'll keep an eye on this because once we start to see that light red subside, that will be a great leading indicator of demand and pricing, potentially stabilizing a bit. So to recap for the week, steady week of uh, week over week on all metrics, immediate sales dominate as lines still continue to form down the block on new inventory. I want to thank you, uh, as always, for joining us. And if you're thinking about selling in 2021 and you want to have a leg up, 
we're happy to put these market reports directly in your inbox. You can sign up for free. Uh, just go to jgrmarketinsights.com and you can do that. Also, we have a proprietary tool called a buyer market analysis. And in conjunction with Zillow and Realtor.com, not only can we show you what your home is worth, but we can also show you exactly how many people are looking for a home just like yours online in this marketplace. Pretty cool. If you'd like a free buyer market analysis, just head on over to homevalue.johngreenrealtor.com and you can grab that. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you next week.